welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today we're going to do kind of a two-for-one video. I want to get ready using some of my um, project brand palettes. That video should be up at this point. If not, it's coming soon. <laughs> um, and then I also wanted to kind of combine it with a goals video. I was going to do a separate goals for 2021 video. And I actually already filmed it and I just didn't really like how it turned out. So we're going to redo that and just get ready, talk about some of the goals that I have for the year and all that stuff. So um, if I don't explicitly mention what I'm using, everything that I use will be listed and linked in the description box. If it's still available, I know there are a few things that are no longer available, like my Tarte palette for bronzer, but you know, everything else will be listed and linked in the description box. So let's go ahead and get ready. So, how are you? Um, I already, did I just say this? I already have my eyeshadow primer on. A fresh new tube of the Milani eyeshadow primer. My absolute favorite. It's the best. I wasn't going to purchase a new one until I had used some of the other primers that were in my drawer and I tried to use one of the primers and I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I need my Milani one. I'm gonna start with my Photo Finish Primerizer. This is primer and moisturizer. I did already put a moisturizer on my skin, but this area is super dry and needs a lot more moisture than I'm used to. I'm sorry if you see the top of this mirror, but I need to bend that down. <laughs> so I don't think that I've ever done a goals video. I obviously always set goals. But I don't know that I've ever filmed a video just for goals. I don't think that I have. And I'm doing this for, well, one main reason, to keep myself accountable. <laughs> because it's very easy to, it's easy for me, to write a goal down and kind of forget about it. Well, I want to be better about it. I want to, I want to achieve the goals that I set. One thing that we try to teach our daughter is if you set a goal, you need to work towards achieving it. So I should also do that. <laughs> I have four palettes that I'm focusing on this week as I'm filming. By the time this video is up, I will be focusing on different palettes, but for the week that I'm filming, I am focusing on four different palettes. So I'll be using a mixture of them. The first one is the Sugar Pill Capsule C2. I'm I feel like it doesn't say that anywhere on here, it just says capsule. But I'm pretty sure that this is the C2 palette. Alright, so we're gonna take this metro color, this is this yellow. Because that's... If you haven't seen my project brand video, each month I'm going to use a different theme for my palette. So last year I did the pan those shadows, I was choosing random palettes each month, and then choosing a random shadow. But this month, I, or this year, but this year I want to use even more palettes, not necessarily hitting pan, but just rotating through those palettes, the palettes that I own even more than I did because, um, as I, I mentioned in that video, panning things, it does mean that you're most likely going to finish something, but I feel at the same time that I'm still ignoring a huge chunk of my collection that's also growing older with each passing day. So I want to rotate through as much as possible, and I'm not quite committed to making a seasonal makeup basket. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. A monthly makeup basket is one thing, but using seasonal things is quite another. The palettes that I'm using in January are all pa palettes that I own one from that brand. So my single brand palettes, I guess. I don't know how to word it. And this is the only sugar pill palette I have. And then I also wanted to choose uh, one color to kind of focus on a little more, um, and this might change as I do the project. Wow, this yellow is fantastic. Um, I might be okay with just using the palette in general and not necessarily focusing on using one color in the hopes of hitting pan, but just using as many colors as possible for that. I don't know what, I don't know, it might change, it probably will change. But for January, one brand. One brand. What is the what is the term? Palettes that I only own one from. Palettes, or brands that I only own one palette. 
from, but that's not the proper way to do that sentence. Whatever. The moral of the story is... <laughs> I've used this yellow, and at first I was like, oh, yellow, I don't know, but I mean, this yellow is nice. That is a nice yellow. Okay. So I, of course, set goals every year. I set personal goals and, you know, YouTube goals. Um, for, you know, and I'm going to talk about both of them. One of the goals that I set for this year personally is to read 50 books. And I use the Goodreads app because it's very easy to keep track of books that you own and books that you've read. I don't really read, you know, I might like give it a star review when I finish a book, but I don't typically write reviews. I don't, I don't I'm just not great at writing reviews, which is hilarious because that's kind of what YouTube is. But I don't typically write reviews for books. I, I mainly use the app to keep track of what I have read, what I do want to read. I have a whole shelf of books that I own that are on my want to read list because I buy a lot of books at used bookstores and I can never remember what I do and don't have. I made a shelf for my daughter to keep track of her books because she has hundreds of books and we can't keep, I can't, I can never remember. She can remember what books she has and what she doesn't have. I'm like, do we have? I don't know. If she's not with me, I need that information. So I really, really like the Goodreads app. It's free. You can connect friends and stuff to it. Um, I do have friends listed on it, but you mainly just get their book recommendations and see what they're using. The inventory aspect of it is what I really like. Oh, I'm using the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette right now, this polka dot shade. So last year my goal was to read 50 books and I was doing really well and then something happens in the fall and everything just gets so busy that I just kind of stop reading. So I read 40 of the 50. So I want to read 50 again this year. Put these in here when I'm filming. It's never in here when I'm filming. So for me personally, I'm a pretty fast reader, so I can I can no problem finish 50 books in a year. It's just making the time to sit down and read the books. And I can't listen to audiobooks. I, you know, if you want to listen to audiobooks, great. I cannot. I can barely listen to podcasts. I, I can't I can't do audiobooks. I like the physical touch of the page. I like the smell of the book. I don't like looking at the screen that much. And I just don't. I just can't do audiobooks. That, that's the first goal. Read 50 books this year. I'm trying to kind of read a lot right now when I know I have, you know, where right now when the app says ahead of goal versus in November, I was like, you're 17 bucks behind your goal. I'm like, I read like fiction books. I don't really, um, I don't read a lot of nonfiction books. Um, I just don't. <laughs> polka dot color on its own. I don't usually like it. I think it's quite patchy, but I really kind of like it with this yellow. One of my other goals for this year, and this is a goal every year, is to just buy less stuff. buy less stuff. I am going on a January is going to be in November. So far we are, you know, a few days in. <laughs> and I'm doing great. Um I would like to do like January, February, March no buy. April is my birthday month, so I'd like to buy some stuff there. But right now we're taking it one month at a time. I'm not looking that far ahead. The biggest problem with the no buy is going to be ColourPop and Polish Pickup. One thing that I'm not counting is um, like a collection that I would review for like China Glaze. I purchased the collections that I review from China Glaze. 
Um, I really love China Glaze and I love their polishes. I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of counting that as like a business thing versus like just something that I would buy and never use. Okay, so buy less stuff for sure. I'm not saying not buying anything because I'm the type of person that if I say, oh, you know, I'm going to go on a total no buy, all I will want to buy is everything. Something is psychologically wrong with me and I can't say that. But I definitely want to make a better effort to not impulse purchase. And last year I did do a lot better about returning things that were impulse purchases. I returned a lot of stuff that I never used because after I got it home, after it came in the mail, it sat in this bucket my haul bucket. I was like, you know what? I haven't used this in a few weeks. I don't need it. I'm going to return it. And um, I, I did get a lot better about that last year. That being said, I do have a bucket of stuff to haul. You will see a haul at some point. It was all purchased last year. I just haven't had time to haul it. I was waiting for Black Friday stuff to come in. And I don't know if you've heard about the USPS lately, but it's been a nightmare. So things took forever to come in. <laughs> So I do actually have a haul to film, but nothing is from this year. And then I think there will also be a ColourPop haul. That's also from last year. I truly love ColourPop, so that is difficult for me. Lemon, lemon, difficult. What? That's not the same. I'm gonna go with a green look. I can't, I can't not do it. Plus I'm wearing camo, it feels right. I just, I can't, I can't. I just can't not. I'm sorry, that should be a goal. Do something other than green. Wear something other than green. I love it so much. I can't but You know, I do have physical goals. Um, I kind of want to maintain my physical fitness routine that I've been doing um, and taking my vitamins. I actually feel so much better taking vitamins. And I know a lot of people say you don't actually need to take vitamins. They do nothing. Just eat the foods that have those vitamins in it. I feel better when I take vitamins. Whether that's all in my head or not, I don't know. I feel better when I take vitamins. So I use the care of vitamins. I usually take them with, you know, breakfast or dinner. If I'm working out that day, I usually eat breakfast. Otherwise, I don't really eat breakfast. So I try. I do take them with a meal. I, I just feel better when I take my vitamins. Um, and I've been using the care of vitamins since the beginning of last year. They come in a little packet. I, you can customize what you, you know, want to focus on. Obviously, obviously, ask your doctor, you know, before you start taking any sort of vitamin or supplement. But for me, I just feel so much better when I take vitamins. I want to continue doing that. I, I like that they come to my house. It's all in one pack. If I know I'm going to be running a bunch of errands, I can just grab the pack, put it in my purse super easy. I'm going to take one of the greens to blend like a little bit this fire OG color. No, actually I'm going to go with mochi. I think that'll blend a little bit. Uh, the other day uh, my daughter and I were looking in my jewelry and I, uh, I have quite a lot of fashion jewelry. It's not fine jewelry. But I used to be a direct sales consultant for a jewelry company and I make jewelry and I just, I like buying, you know, I get a lot of clearance jewelry at Kohl's and JCPenney and all that stuff. And I almost never wear it. <laughs> um, so that's the one thing I want to get better about is wearing my jewelry. Wearing earrings today. I'm going to use this gold shade because, I mean, yeah. I'm just going to use my finger. I definitely want to get better about um, using my jewelry. I did go through and kind of uh, clear out some that I am like, eh, I'm not going to wear this. Yeah. I have like the jewelry taste of truly like an 87 year old woman. But then the clothing style of I don't know, like a 15 year old. Like I just want to wear jeans and t shirts. I don't know what 15 year olds wear. You know, 15 year old when I was 15. I don't know what they were now. Probably inappropriate things. 
This is a clean brush. I didn't put any product on it. I'm just going to spritz this with a setting spray. And then go over this and sort of melt everything together. Maybe apply a little more because, you know, more green is better. I'm going to put some product on this same brush and for my channel, um, every year my goal is to double my subscriber count. I love the subscribers that I have. I love that I see the same names commenting and I recognize your names and I so appreciate the consistency with which people watch my videos and comment and give them thumbs up. That is all engagement which ultimately helps anyone's YouTube channel. So I definitely appreciate that. My goal is simply to double my subscriber count. Right now I think I have like a little over 1900 subscribers. So if I could hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, that would be awesome. Because ultimately that's, you know, I, I don't make an income doing YouTube. That would be amazing. And to do that, you need more subscribers and views and things like that. So I don't want it to sound like, oh, I'm just doing this for any sort of income. Because like, I've been doing this for six years. And I think just last year is the first year I got a check from YouTube. <laughs> People I, I know in my personal life don't you know, love makeup and nail polish the way that I do, and I've met some really great friends doing this. So I don't want it to sound like, oh, well, she only wants more subscribers so she can make more money. No. But also, like, everyone wants that. that that's it. I mean, that's the scoop. <laughs> I don't want that to sound like, oh, you're greedy. No. But if I can make an income working from home raising my child, that's of course what I want to do. There is a much more eloquent way to word that and I, I'm not coming up with it, but I just don't want it to come across like, I don't want it to come across greedy, but literally everyone wants more subscribers to earn more money on YouTube. But, but everyone wants that. I'm gonna take this mochi shade again and blend more of that in here. Uh, I know that I said I wasn't going on a full on no buy. One thing that I, I can probably do a no buy for is body products and hair care. The only thing that I might need to purchase probably towards the end of the year is possibly a skin, a skin wash. That's disgusting. A face wash and maybe a toner. Those are the only things that I might go through quickly enough to actually need to repurchase. I don't need any body wash, I don't need any shampoo, possibly a scrub. I want to complete my project use up for 2021. I did one last year and I failed miserably. This year I feel a lot better about the products that I chose. For some reason last year I chose like nine primers. I don't know why. I barely use primer. So I chose things that I actually use this year. <laughs> uh, what a concept Amanda. I know. Right now, where did that go? I'm going to use, I'm just going to put some eyeliner on. This is the Tarte Man Eater eyeliner. This is in my project use up, speaking of. I don't love this eyeliner, to be very honest. I can't, I can't line my entire eye with it because it transfers in the inner part. So we're just going to put that on the outer For mascara, I'm going to use the Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara and possibly one more. I'm going to curl my eyelashes first. I think January is, I don't know if it's because it's right after Christmas and there's so much stuff that seems to come into homes, whether it's kids' presents or things you bought for yourself or you know, whatever. I feel like we all just have so much stuff in January that we're like, let's declutter everything. 
So we're also working on that. I just went through my closet. I just went through my bathroom closet and the bathroom cabinets. I want to continue doing that and minimizing things. There's stuff that we've held on to that's you know, too young for my daughter. Stuff she used when she was littler and she just doesn't use them anymore. Which is sad because She's supposed to stay a little forever. She's not listening to that though. Um, I'm gonna use this Catrice Glam and Doll Volume Mascara. I put this in my monthly makeup basket a long time ago. I don't think I ever used it. Oops. This one feels like there's nothing in it, on it. This is pretty old, this might be dried out. I never open mascara until I'm ready to use it. I definitely have some that have been in this drawer for a while and they feel pretty dry. So it's hard to tell if that's the formula of that mascara or if this is just old crusty. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. This looks so much more red on camera. I'm like, oh, this looks like it's looking better. And then I take a picture and I'm like, oh, no. Oh, that? <laughs> so I know those aren't like super intense goals, but that's all I can think of right now. What are your goals for 2021? One thing I, I just thought of in my I want to stop saying so, so much when I start a sentence. I don't mean to do it. It's so incredibly annoying to go, oh, okay, yeah, so I, I need to stop saying that. This is a Tarte Chisel Palette uh, in the shade Princess Cut is what I'm using. I don't really like calling them resolutions. I don't typically make New Year's resolutions or intentions. I just... But having a specific goal for other things I do find helpful. And I know it's the same thing. But that's one of those weird things that my brain does. For blush, I'm gonna use um, a new blush from <laughs> Persona. This is their terracotta blush it kind of looks like a bronzer but, but once you put it on it looks more like a blush it somehow has a little pinkiness to it that it doesn't look like it has in the pan. I really enjoy the persona I, really, I think I like everything that I've tried from persona I can't think of one thing that I've tried that I haven't enjoyed. I love their lip glosses. Uh, I like their blushes. I like their highlight. I like their eyeshadow palettes. I've only tried the one, but I'm assuming the second one is great. This is the highlighting palette that I'm using. This is the Rach Loves and Pixie palette. My friend Heather sent this to me. Um, she gets PR from Pixie, and Pixie powder products seem to come smashed quite often. Uh, that's okay. But I'm going to use the Clutch shade right here. And maybe T as in T shirt. T E E. Yeah, you know what? We're going to use T. I haven't used that one yet. This is a really nice palette. I'm kind of bummed that mine is broken because I would obviously be using these two shades the most. I just feel like they're going to fall out any second. <laughs> I think it came broken to her and then, and then she repressed it and when it came to me it broke again. So I feel like it's, it's been compromised. It's pretty fragile. Do I have like a lip product in here? We'll use this. This is probably not exactly the right color but it's fine. New from Flower Beauty. It's the Flower Bitten Lip Stain and this is in the color Play. I haven't used it yet, and you can tell because the neck is clear. Oh, well that didn't do much. I 
Okay, hold on. What else do we have here? <laughs> Alright, we'll just do this. We'll do a light layer of this. Oh, okay. Oh, the fluffy doe foot applicators. They tickle. Oh, that's really pretty. It doesn't smell like anything. You're probably not supposed to do that, but I didn't uh, read about it. It's quite pretty. It doesn't feel like anything. It's very lightweight. So those are my goals for 2021. Let me know what kind of goals you have set for this year. I do have, I have other goals set, but you know, they're not really that exciting to use. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that will ultimately help me reach my goal of increasing my subscriber count by the end of the year. If you have video suggestions, things you want to see this year on my channel, please let me know and I will do my best to accommodate those. But I think that's all for now. I really, really do love this color green. At the beginning of the month I was all, oh yeah, I could probably declare the melt gel I got up the light. This is probably too pink. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching. I will talk to you in my next video.